Hi, Bill Nye the Planetary Guy here with special thanks to you for being part of our journey in 2011. As I look back over the milestones of the last 12 months, I'm amazed at how you and I are advancing space exploration. Now, since we couldn't do this without you, let's go over our 2011 milestones and we'll start with Shuttle and Phobos Life. That's our living interplanetary flight experiment, an inquiry into the ability of living things to survive a trip between planets inside a meteoroid. In May, the last mission of Space Shuttle Endeavour carried a version of this experiment. The sample organisms are now being studied. A twin patented biomodule was intended to make a three-year round trip to Mars moon Phobos with the Russian Phobos sample return mission. But as I record this message, the mission controllers are trying to establish contact with the spacecraft, which is stuck in Earth orbit. We don't know if they'll be able to save this great mission, but I can say with the greatest of confidence, and with you as our valued partner, the Planetary Society will keep pushing back the boundaries of the unknown. If there is a worthy mission going to another planet, we are going to do all we can to be part of that mission. Speaking of returning samples, NASA selected the Planetary Society to create and manage the outreach activities for the OSIRIS-REx mission, which will go to an asteroid called 1999 RQ-36. The launch is planned for 2016. The spacecraft will reach its destination three years later, scoop up a pristine few grams of asteroid, and return to the Earth. This is exciting business. It's going to help us learn how you and I and our whole planet came to be. And as a society member, you will be in the thick of it all. Thanks to your loyal support, we're not just visiting asteroids, we're helping to discover and track them, especially the near-Earth objects, or NEOs, that cross the path of our home world. It was one of these guys that drew the curtain on the ancient dinosaurs. We don't want that to happen to us. So we give Gene Shoemaker near-Earth object grants internationally to amateur and professional observers. They use these funds from members like you to support their work. Jaime Noman is a great example. We gave Jaime and his team a little less than $8,000 to buy a new super sensitive camera, and they used it to discover 10 new near-Earth objects, NEOs, two of which pose a potential threat to us, to the Earth. Pioneers 10 and 11 are never coming back. The data from those two venerable spacecraft are still helping us understand the cosmos thanks to your support of research into the Pioneer Anomaly. It's beginning to look like the unexpected deceleration of these interstellar twins has not been caused by an outside force, by some new physics. The ultimate solution will lead to more accurate spacecraft navigation, and you made it happen. You're also part of a sophisticated hunt for exoplanets, world-circling distant stars. The FINES optical system at the Lick Observatory is allowing scientists to study hundreds of star systems with extraordinary precision. It's all in the name Fiber Optic Improved Next Generation Doppler Search for Exo-Earths. That's the audacious and exciting goal to find Earth-like planets that just might support life. A discovery of one of those planets would change the way we view our place in space. It's amazing how much exploration you and I and other planetary society members worldwide have enabled and encouraged over the years. And not just through your direct support of projects. Our grassroots campaigns influence political decisions and help ensure the future of space exploration. Just last September, I delivered over 20,000 signed petitions to Washington, petitions signed by you. I also hosted a briefing on Capitol Hill and met with the White House science advisor. You make this advocacy possible. And then there's LightSail 1, where you are part of the mission team. Our revolutionary solar sail is ready for a ride into Earth orbit, but it has to be a high enough orbit. Can't be low Earth orbit, has to be at least medium Earth orbit. We can't have air molecules getting in the way of our flight driven by pure light. So our team is talking to space agencies and companies around the world. And NASA has manifested LightSail 1 for an appropriate launch. We're hoping for a launch before the end of 2012. We're also part of a NASA team that will use our experience in creating a very small, compact spacecraft to help others reach space at lower costs. There are the highlights. Thanks to you, my first year as your CEO of the Planetary Society has been amazing. It's surpassed my dreams. I honor your commitment to our shared goals 
and I thank you for your forward-thinking vision. You and I are the true believers. We believe in a better future for humankind through space exploration. Together, we can change the world. So please accept my deepest thanks and my best wishes for a happy holiday season and a bright new year.